Okay, we're wrapping up the week of some of my favorite verses. And the last one we're going to do this week is 1 Timothy 6.6. 6. And it's a very short verse. It just says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. Great gain. We're all looking for what is a good investment? How can I invest in the market to get more money? How am I going to get the best return on my investment? But this is saying that godliness with contentment is great gain. So what does that mean? Finding our contentment in Him alone, not in our gifts, not in our positions, not in our status, but in Jesus. That's where we have great gain. Matthew 6, it talks about don't worry about what you're going to eat or what you're going to wear. All these things that are about our daily life, don't worry about that. He wants us to think only about him and to trust in him. That He takes care of all of that. All right, let's look at it at the message. The message says godliness is rich simplicity of being yourself in front of God. Being yourself in front of God. What does that mean? It means when you can look in the mirror and you're seeing yourself and you like who you are, you stand in front of God without a mask, without any kind of other expectations or comparisons. You're not thinking about how you measure up to someone else. It's just you. And you just say, Jesus, this is who I am. And my heart is all yours. And that's the key. Is your heart all his? Is it really all his? You know, in the dictionary, there's like 20 synonyms for the word godliness. There's so many. I'm not going to name all of them, but some of them are holiness, virtue, meekness, humility, uprightness, brotherly love, lots and lots of things. But they're all characters of God, characteristics of who he is, his nature. So ways that we should be like him. And if we are trying to be like him, then those characteristics should be evident in our life. Now, notice it doesn't say anything about have you gotten any awards? What kind of titles do you have? What are your accomplishments? No, because it's talking about things of our heart, talking about attitudes of the heart. So going the second mile, what is your focus? Are you content in Jesus? Is Jesus enough for you? Or is it, I need Jesus because I need all his gifts, because I need all his blessings, because I need him to use me and him to lift me up. You know, that's wonderful, but Jesus is enough. So put your eyes on him. He's the best investment you could ever have. And when you become content in him, that is the richest life you could ever imagine.